All right, I've been asked before, what does every button do on these uh, 210 FIs? So I thought I'd do a quick video and kind of talk about it and uh, give you an idea. So starting with the panel down below on the ground, this is your automatic centering for the rear tracks. This is rear track steering, uh, emergency stop, of course, engine start and stop. You can actually start from the ground. This is a horn you honk to get the driver's attention. These are your favorite buttons. They're programmable in the display up top. Favorites four, favorites five. This is your water. Um, so I think it's pretty self-explanatory. They have pictures on them. But water, automatic or manual. This would be the engines, when the key's turned on, there's a bar graph right here. It tells you how much water is in the machine. This is for the back door, the back door being right there. This is uh, to lock or unlock it when you're going to raise it. So you would uh, push down, which is this button. This is your raise and lower for the back door and your float button. So you would push down and push unlock at the same time to unlock the door and then push up to swing the door open. And then this is so you, the ground man can put the rabbit foot sensor down. This is the button for the rabbit foot on this side. And then this is the side plate. See the symbol there for side plate? This is a side plate up and down and automatic side plate. Automatic side plate is so when you're running the rabbit foot or slope on this side, it will prevent the side plate from sinking in the material like say you're pulverizing or you're in soft dirt or something like that. It'll constantly hop the side plate up and down to keep it from sinking in the material. So now I'm going to go up top, unlock the panels, and we'll give you a tour of the top. Okay, for up top on the machine here, this is your center panel where the ignition is. And you have your fuel. Let me go ahead and turn the key on so we can get back to that. Turn the key in here. To light that stuff up. coming alive cameras are coming on so these are your bar graphs for fuel for water this will be your clock it'll switch off of 24 hour time here in a second this is your vacuum fan is that focus that fan up there you can have manual on or automatic this is your um, raise and lower for your hood this is for the heater, if you have it, one of our machines has a heater. It's actually pretty nice. Beacon light on and off, work lights on and off. This would be if you had the stop lights on the conveyor for the truck. You could turn the left stop light on or the right stop light on. This one, uh, I'm honestly, I don't know what that is. I need to look in the computer, in the panel. This is windshield wiper if you had the canopy and the spray. Manual throttle up and down. And then engine start and stop. And then we'll go to the control panel on the right side. I won't do the left side because it's identical. This is your rear tracks up and down. This is your automatic uh, leveling or the PTS parallel to surface. This is your raise and lower of the right, left side, right side, rear steer. Right now it's in automatic centering mode. So they'll return to center where you can pull down and you get articulate or you get crab or nothing where it's in manual mode. Normally you're just in auto center or push up again and that light goes off and now you're in manual. Emergency stop. This is the cruise control. So when you're moving, if you want, you can lock in the speed that you're moving. So you push this and hold it for I think five seconds and it'll program your cruise control. So then all you gotta do is crack it into forward, push this button, it'll take you back to the speed that you have programmed into it. This is your warning lights to tell you if you have any codes or any problems, you'll get lights on this button here. And you push the button and it'll tell you on the display what the code is. All right, this is a forward reverse in your steering. So forward and reverse, steering left, steering right. This is your number one favorites button. Again, they're programmable in the panel. 
this is your horn this is again in fact just like down below your side plate see the symbols are all the same your side plate up and down or automatic in case you need to keep from sinking this is your front we call it front moldboard which is that moldboard right down there you can raise it lower it or lock and float this is the back moldboard or the back door scraper raise and lower and float this is your water on off manual or auto and then you have your conveyor unfold fold this is for your canopy raise and lower if you have your canopy and then you have the number two and number three favorite buttons right here this is your conveyor left right up down this is your conveyor on and off or if you hold it for two seconds your conveyor will reverse and this is your belt speed you can actually adjust it when the engine's off usually there it goes so you can adjust your belt speed and i usually run it in this position or lower it seems to help load the trucks more but you have your your boosted or you hold it you get turbo boost and then this is your, your cutter on and off this is automatic when this is on so your eco and your power and your pattern can, will be active switch those like that uh, I recommend running eco most of the time if you're doing just a regular mill if you're doing a removal I like to use power this is meaning the drum is in first gear this will switch to second gear if the computer decides that's what's best and then if you turn it again on again basically you get manual mode which basically just runs the machine full throttle and that's it onto the center panel I've gone through this before. This is your swap buttons, your match and swap, automatic left, automatic right, both automatics on, your swap button without matching, your grade up and down for this side, grade up and down for this side, and then you have these cylinder buttons. I believe they'll manually move the machine. I've honestly never tried, but this tells you which lights up and down and tell you whether the machine's raising or lowering to meet grade. This is your help button, which will give you uh, messages, which I don't hope, please press it again. And this gives you a little instruction manual on how to run the machine and what all the different features do. But we'll go back. This, you push this and all these light up so you can program what you want to be displayed in these areas. So you can change what sensor is displayed here. You can change what is in this position, what's in this position. So like this, take the water for example, I can push this and it gives me a whole list of things that I can put in that position besides water. Okay, this is your home button, takes you back out to your home display. You have all of your other settings. Okay, we can go, and this is your uh, operating position where it gives you your grade control and your gauges. This is your level button that shows you all of your grade control. Even though you got great control here, you can go where the whole display is great control. This lists all of your sensors that are plugged into the machine at this time. So it says there's no multiplex, does have the rabbit foot left and right, and does have the side plate. And then you push level again, and you get to have a readout of all those sensors and what they're showing. So standing in front of milling drum, that's your rabbit foot. It's out of range right now because it's up. These are your leg heights that show, these are basically a manual gauge on the legs to tell you how far extended or retracted they are. This is your rear legs. This is your slope. This is your MDI left and right and your side plate left and right. And this is where you can program your memory values or what they're set to. You can, you can select your, this is how you select your memories. And then you have your home button, you can go back to home, or you can just, if you're in this thing, you can go back. Well, oh, back doesn't work. You just go back to machine operations. So that's, oh, cameras. So here's your cameras display. Left side of the machine, the conveyor, it's folded right now. And the back door, and you can push this button to change your camera views. That's a quick overview of every button on the machine. Uh, with the exception of down below in the front, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Just look at the pictures.
So I hope that helps you out. Till then, be safe.